Hello there kitties, I'm Kerry, the vacuum tube witch, still in the field, with a teardown of this buffer power supply and charge controller that I showed you on yesterday's stream. Let's see what um, this little circuit consists of. Let's get the view on the working surface. There we go. And uh, as we see here, we've got a fuse, we've got four um, capacitors, 1000 microfarad, uh, 25 volts. We've got um, a bunch of diodes. This is the full bridge rectifier and uh, some more diodes uh, for for discharging the the battery we've got the signalization relay a uh, metal oxide varistor looks like uh, some varistors or capacitors and then the marking is 0ZE those are definitely capacitors and this is an LM317 so let's get a move on with uh, reverse engineering this thing. Like you see here, the ground uh, from the battery goes through the fuse. So it's not the positive, it's the negative pole um, that is fuse. Those uh, would be the AC connector here. The full bird rectifier, the electrolytics. And where do we go from here? It goes to the input on the LM317 and also there's a diode in between the input and the output. The adjustment pin is uh, number one and uh, the adjustment pin is connected with uh, with this diode, it goes uh, to the output. And the diode here. This is the one uh, from here. The adjustment pin goes somewhere further to the R1 resistor. And not just that, the R1 resistor goes uh, to the output. So this is a typical application for LM317. This is the capacitor to the ground, so the adjustment pin also has a cap to the ground. What's this value? 100 microfarad. Anyway, the, the capacitors and, and the resistor 470 and of course, uh, knowing the application schematic of uh, LM317, there is also another resistor. Eye. And there's the trim pot P1 that goes, uh, that's wired in series with an. Um, 1k8 uh, resistor to the ground. The trim pot is 1k. And that would be the voltage regulator part. The output is wired uh, through a uh, diode to the device's output. Thank you. 
And there is also an interesting circuitry. The current limiter resistor for the charging of the battery. Also the discharge diode that I mentioned. The ground for the output. And the fuse. Also a bunch of capacitors here. 100 microfarad uh, from the output. See, it would be that uh, capacitor from from the uh, adjustment pin to the ground, from the output behind the diode to the ground. Assuming those are varistors, MOVs. The WA1 and WA2 and then uh, there is the 1N4148 and there is a reverse uh, biased uh, diode then the LEDs, the, the red one it uh, it indicates the presence of the AC power and then there is the green LED that uh, goes to the ground then the trace on the PCB was cut off as a sort of modification but uh, it uh, it goes from from the main output through the uh, 2k2 resistor indicating the presence of um, the voltage on the output there's the WA3, the MOV on the output, and there's also a relay. Then the common, the normally closed, the normally open, the coil of the relay. Goes uh, goes to the ground on one side and it goes to goes here and here to the output on the other side so this relay is uh, energized uh, note that uh, it's taken from before the the diode so it is uh, energized uh, whenever the ac power is present and uh, that would uh, conclude the little reverse engineering project. Uh, let's uh, let's get a better view on the camera again. And that would be the schematic that I that I just drew uh, of uh, of the reverse engineered device. It's uh, it's pretty simple. It's just um, it's just an uh, LM317 based uh, voltage regulator. It's a rectifier. It's the current limiting circuit for for charging the battery, and um, there's an additional relay for indicating uh, the the main uh, power presence uh, for the alarm circuits because. Um, this uh, 
This module was made by Pulsar, and it's a Polish company that uh, pretty much specializes um, in uh, video monitoring and uh, alarm uh, electronic solutions. So, uh, having a and uh, information from the power supply that uh, it's on uh, AC or battery power it's uh, it's pretty important uh, in uh, an uh, alarm system so yeah that would be the reverse engineering of this little module keep up the good work people bye <laughs>